Alfred Squirn studied for a career in the building industry, but soon found the spice of life lay in food. Growing a network of local artisans and farmers, he and his wife, Chanel Squirn's brand, now boasts seven eateries like this one. Hi guys. Hi guys, my name is Fritz and I'm Chanel. Welcome to Squin Bakery and Cafe here at Stellenbosch Square. I started my career as a junior quantity surveyor back in Kempton Park on a big development that they were doing and I saw an opportunity for quality food on construction sites and we were moving so much bread through these kiosks that I decided to start a small bakery on my parents' property at the time. And from there, we distributed bread and other baked goods, so much so that we started supplying the airlines. So I burnt my fingers, lost my first business, but I was very attracted by the art and the trade of baking. And I had the opportunity of doing an apprenticeship with Marcus Farbinger in Neisner at Ile de Palme, and that changed my life. Along with fresh bread and coffee, their cafes and patisseries are known for mouth-watering seasonal dishes created by Chanel. I was a young aspiring chef and I was working at a friend's pastry store and just helping her out. And then I was looking for accommodation and a mutual friend of Fritz and I actually told me that Fritz was letting go of his little cottage in a garden that he was renting and I took my brother along with me to go view the place. And I was blown away, obviously she's way out of my league. And so I took the chance, started sending bread, got some confectionery items in return, I knew it was game on. And the rest is history, it was a very quick courtship. I think we knew almost instantly that we were meant to be together. We got engaged two months after meeting each other and that was frowned upon by many, but we knew and that was enough for us backbone of the Squin concept is bread. Bread, through history, has been this communal act of enjoying food together, breaking bread together, making peace, building relationships. And so the Squin concept is really putting that act forward. And Squin means clean. Yeah. Clean eating, clean living. It's purpose driven. Exactly. Naturally farmed wheat, milled whole with stone, maintaining the integrity of the grain, if that is transferred into a naturally fermented dough, baked off quickly, maintaining moisture, is one of the most nutrient-dense foods on the planet. And that's what we're bringing back to South Africa, putting real bread back onto the table. One thing I'm very proud of is the fact that we still bake in the traditional way that we started off with 11 years ago. Talking about delicious, beautiful dough, I'm going to go grab me a piece. I want to show you how I bake a pot brew at home. That would be this small holding in the Boiland farm country, where the family's quality of home life helps keep the business in perspective. This is that beautiful piece of dough that I picked up at the bakery earlier. I'm shaping it into a bull shape, which is a round shape, as it will fit into my pot beautifully. And Port bread is just such a traditional, but such a convenient bread to bake at home. Very quick, very easy, and it really mimics that old wood-fired oven effect. I'm preheating my pot to really get that heat up. When I put my cool dough into that pot, it's going to react. We call it oven spring. Create that beautiful caramelized crust. We're making paella today with our beautiful ingredients from langoustines, calamari, chorizo and fresh mussels and a couple of fresh ingredients. And we're pairing that with Fritz's amazing pot bread. Now this is what it's all about for us, cooking outside an open fire. I'm going to add these beautiful fresh mussels to the steamy white wine with butter, garlic, lemon and some celery. These will steam for a little while until they pop open and I'll incorporate this into the paella. This is normally how we cook at our house. I do all the prep work and then I just make sure Fritz does the job well. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him when to turn him. <laughs> Not being a chef or having any formal training myself, I've been highly inspired and influenced by Chanel and the way of her cooking. It's very natural, very ingredients based, very pure, and it's really enriched my life massively. The 
key ingredient to a good paella is definitely some saffron, but we use it sparingly. The beauty of our paella that we make at home, we don't claim that it's a traditional, but this is just the way we like it. I like cooking each element on its own to create hectic flavor and then combining it together at the end. And that's what makes the Squin household paella special. As Fritz likes to say, the pioneer always stays in front. And it's his and Chanel's bold spirit in the business of food which makes him such a popular judge on SABC 2's The Taste Master. Yep, that's what you want. The opportunity to be on The Taste Master caught me by surprise, to say the least. It was such an amazing experience, obviously. The exposure and to see how far we've come as a baking country is uh, beautiful. When you see the contestants operating on the show, you can see that they are very seasoned. These are people that are not dabbling in baking. I mean, these are people that have spent a lot of hours. They had a lot of levels that they could tap into when the challenges became very hard. You could see people fail, stand up, try again, fail, stand up, try again. And um, that was just extremely inspiring. I was so proud of Fritz seeing him on TV because I know being his wife, it's not his comfort zone. And I think he did a fantastic job, but I also think he had a great co-presenter that really helped him along. And I think it's a team effort with something like that. You've got to have some sort of spark between the two of you. And then Zola and Fritz definitely had that. So it was nice to see. I was very proud of both of them, but very proud of him. So was Fritz of the Taste Master contestants as they baked more memories with royal baking powder. Famed for her own desserts, Chanel was busy with her favorite to follow the paella. We have three beautiful children. We have a son and two daughters. And our son was born when we were still running the big Squinder company. And we could manage at that time, but we realized that that pace and that lifestyle wouldn't sustain our family mm. if we had more kids. So we made some changes along the way. We've just found that the farms in and around Stellenbosch offer so much for the kids to explore and adventure. And for us, peace and quiet out of the hustle and bustle has just been amazing. I have my peach and raspberry and hazelnut cobbler. I'm gonna go and enjoy this. Guys, pudding. These last yeah. two years have been life-changing for us. Yeah. We're so dedicated and convicted about this mission in bread that, I mean, we overworked ourselves completely. Mm. And what the lockdown forced us to do was to take that step back, to allow the people that we've invested into for the last 10, 11 years to step up, take more responsibility, grow into those positions that they were meant to become. And for us, we started focusing more on balance. We want to spend time with our family and our friends and at home and we want to see the business still do well but it's on its way so it's our kind of we're letting this little baby go now and and i think that's what it is we just want to take a step back and have a look at what's happening and take in the moments and live a very purpose-driven life thank you so much for spending the day with us it was such an honor and a privilege and remember eat good bread the Squirn's balanced approach to baking a loaf is echoed in how they're raising a family and growing a business. There's more to our daily bread than meets the eye.